now we are in this month which is the month of the holy quran and also the month of ali ibn abi talib alayhi salatu was salam you know if you another probably five minutes and before i transfer to urdu there are many aspects of the the, the holy quran in the month of ramadan there are many ibadat you do many mustahab prayers there are so many mustahab prayers in this month even just during the three nights of Qadr, you do a hundred rakats. So many mustahab prayers. A thousand rakats for the entire month. It is mustahab to do. But in the fiqh of Ahlul Bayt Salam, the mustahab prayers we cannot do in jamaat, in congregation. So 20 rakats in the first 20 nights, mustahab. 30 rakats in the last 10 nights. And then in addition, on the three nights of Qadr, 100 rakats. All together, mounts up to 1000 rakats, mustahab. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not say this month is a month of prayer. It is an obligation to fast in this month. In all other months it's mustahab. There are some days which are haram to fast, like Eid day it is haram to fast. There are some days it is makru to fast. For example, day of Arafah is mustahab, but it is makru if you feel weak. Because ibadat is more important on that day, du'as. So fasting is mustahab through the year. But in this month, it is wajib to fast. But even then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran does not mention this is a month in which fasting is wajib. What does he say this month is for? He does not say there are mustahab prayers. He does not say there are wajib fasts. He does not say you should give more sadaqah, you should give iftar. All of these are mushab. All of these have more thawab, more reward than any other time. Just giving one date to a fasting person in this month is better than giving a food for the entire 30 days in another month. You can imagine so much sawab, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not say that this is a month of giving iftar, this is a month of giving sadaqah, even though giving one sadaqah, one small shilling for example in this month will be more rewarding than giving a gold coin in another month. But Allah does not mention that in the Holy Quran, that this is the month of sadaqah, this is the month of fasting, this is the month of prayers, no. Ya Allah, what is this the month of? In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahr Ramadan, alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. This is the month of the revelation of the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the Quran in this month. This is the month of Quran. Likulli shay'in rabi' wa rabi'u al-Quran Ramadan. Everything has a spring. A bahar, a spring, yes? You know when the spring comes, all trees give you new leaves. They give you more, better fruits and many other things. Everything has a spring. The spring of this life is young age. When you're youth, everything has a spring. Everything has a spring. But the Holy Prophet says, The spring of the Quran is the month of Ramadan. This is the best month to recite the Holy Quran. If you can do anything in this month, then try and at least finish one Quran in this month. In this month, try and finish a Holy Quran. Reading one ayah in this month is better than reciting the whole of Quran in another month. Let me mention one Sahabi of the Holy Prophet. Hazrat Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh radiyallahu anhu. I hope everyone is with me so far. I like to connect with the people and not just speak to myself. I do not just like to lecture and then leave. I like to connect and speak to the people as if people are also listening to me, inshallah. Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh, one of the greatest companions of the Holy Prophet. In fact, a good companion in the sense that he was a businessman who would sponsor the jihad of the Holy Prophet He would sponsor. So the Holy Prophet said, you do not have to come to jihad because you sponsor all the weapons of jihad. Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh. The day he died, when someone informed the Holy Prophet, they said, Ya Rasulullah, Saad has died. The Holy Prophet came barefoot. He wasn't wearing any shoes. In the Tashi Janaza, in the funeral of Saad. The Sahaba asked the Holy Prophet, وسلم, Ya Rasulullah, why aren't you wearing any shoes? In the funeral of Saad. He said, because there are 70,000 in Amali of Sheikh Tusi, 80,000 angels that are taking part in the funeral of Saad. And I do not wish to step on the feet of the angels with my shoes. All of these angels have come on the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take part in the funeral of Saad. Ya Rasulullah, why so many angels have come? Why? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent 
thousands of angels, 70,000 angels in the funeral of Saad. Why? The Holy Prophet said, he said, because Saad did not memorize the Holy Quran, he could not read. But he had learned Surah Ikhlas, Surah Qul Huwallahu Ahad. The moment he was leaving his house for his business, he would start to recite Surah Ikhlas. And the moment he returned home, he was still reciting Surah Ikhlas. All day long during his business, he was always reciting Surah Ikhlas. All day long, Surah Tawheed, Surah Qul Huwallahu Ahad. Because of reciting the surah of Tawheed, surah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Tawheed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent 70,000 angels to represent him in the funeral of Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad. Sometimes you don't know so much Quran, but you do know some ayat. You do know ayat al-kursi, you do know surah ikhlas, you do know a short surah, you do know some names, some verses from the Holy Quran. Just reciting those verses all day long will make this world easy and the hereafter very easy. Everything becomes easy if you recite Quran. Today, one of the scholars, one of the greatest scholars in Qum, he was asked, Aga, how do we know how much we love our 12th Imam, Imam al-Mahdi, Allah ta'ala faraja? How much we love him and how close we are with the Imam alayhi salam. He said, if you want to know how close you are with the 12th Imam alayhi salam, just see how close you are with the Holy Quran. Because Quran is Imam Mahdi and Imam Mahdi is Quran. If you want to see how close you are with the Imam, then just see how close you are with the Holy Quran. Your relationship with the Holy Quran will tell you your relationship with the Imam alayhi salam. You see, because the Hadith says, if you want to see the Holy Prophet, in written form, then you should look at the Holy Quran. And if you want to see the Holy Quran in a physical form, then look at the Holy Prophet and his Holy Progeny. They are the living Quran. Hmm? They are the living Quran. So Imam today is the living Quran. And Quran is the Imam in written form.